Hi guys, what's up? It's Caitlin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you, Madam Glam, for collaborating with me on this video, and I will be talking more about them in a second, but for now, let me go ahead and tell you what we're doing today. We are going to be doing my maintenance routine, so this is what I do, like, once a week, um, or once every two weeks, like, if I have a lot going on, but it's usually once every week. Okay, so this is the Kinsey Electric Razor. I got this from Bells. Um, anyways... I use it on like my bikini area and my hard to reach areas before I get in the shower so while my skin is still dry I will use it on those areas and then I will get in the shower and I will use my dry scalp shampoo this is from the Dollar General store it works fine for me and then I'll use my pink scrubber for my hair. I will do two rinses before this, um, but I do have another shower, like a full, like in-depth shower routine video coming in a couple months, if not next month or like the next month after that, so be prepared. But yeah, this is me just scrubbing my hair still and trying to make sure that you guys don't get wet from the shower. Do you know how hard it is to make sure like you guys don't get wet, to make sure the shower is not too hot for me, to make sure that like everything's perfect anyways this is the tree hut vanilla scrub i scrub all over my body with this stuff i love the smell of it it smells so good and then i rinse my shampoo out and i put this hair mask in and i leave it while i shave this soap since it foams up it acts like a um shaving cream almost so i will shave my hard to reach places with this razor and that and then this razor already has soap on it i've talked about this razor before if you want to go check out that video that will be linked down in the description as well and i absolutely love shaving with this razor it's like a two-in-one on the go and then after that i will wash the hair mask out of my hair wash my face use a dove bar soap i think this is the cherry scent or like the jasmine cherry blossom scent then i will use the matching tree hut vanilla soap um and i will use an african okay so there's a couple things that you guys need to know before you do this so i'm gonna give you a heads up because i just filmed it and i completely forgot to give you like all of these little tricks and warnings first things first you're gonna want to moisturize your skin like with your regular skincare or whatever, or like an extra moisturizer that you just have on hand before you shave your face with this. And you're gonna be, you're gonna wanna be really, really gentle when you use this thing. Um, and then also, I don't do this like all the time. I do this maybe once a month, every two to three weeks, honestly, depending on how fast my eyebrows are growing. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm not gonna do my spray tan right now. I'm gonna wait until later tonight. Um, just to make sure that my pores close because I find that when I do my spray tan right after I get out of the shower It doesn't look as good. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and Do our face and our eyebrows. I used to get my eyebrows threaded, but I feel like it was thinning them out a lot um, Especially like up top and then right here. So I just didn't like I haven't been getting them threaded uh, And it's been like a year or two since I was getting them threaded and I like actively went like continuously for a really really long time and my eyebrows are still really thin even though I'm trying to like grow them out so if you guys have any tips for helping me grow out my eyebrows let me know down below in the comments look up too because that's where my mirror is um but I'm just gonna do my little unibrow and then over here I have some little like wild hairs that I kind of just like I shave them off to make them more even with my other hair um and I do kind of keep some there but yeah no most of them come off and that way they kind of look more like the same I don't really know how to explain it next we're gonna go up and we're just gonna And then we're going to go ahead and just do our eyebrows like I normally would tell you because I don't even want it to like come out in the universe. Um, but one of my biggest fears is like when I'm shaving my eyebrows and I'm looking to see what I'm doing, I'm afraid that I'm going to shave my eyelashes off. Does anyone else have that fear? Because I do. Next, we're going to come over and we're just going to.
This is TMI, but this is all the hair that it's pulled so far. Not a lot, but it's like a it's like dead skin more than hair. We'll be telling you a little bit more about them in a second, but I do have to choose one or two of their colors. Madam Glam is vegan, cruelty free, free of 21 of the most toxic chemicals found in nail polish brands today. Also, they are palm oil free, which means they produce this with respect for the environment. They are also um H ema free i almost wanted to call it henna but i know it's not henna and my brain's not working right today so don't mind me also i do have a little code for you and i will leave it down in the description they do have a pay-as-you-go method as well or a vip method okay so there's two things i do first which is trim my cuticles with this cuticle trimmer and then I use a file. This is the only file I have right now. I have some more coming in the mail that's like professional files. Um, but yeah, this is like what I have right now today. So that's what we're using. I'm trying to get it to focus on just the nails. But I do my nails from pinky, pinky, and then all the way to the thumbs. The thumbs are the very last nails I do. So I use this aspirin. This aspirin? No. Also, I use this rubbing alcohol on my nails to dehydrate them before I put the fake nails on. These are the nails now she's slaying. Okay, you guys, I don't know why the light looks yellow right now. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on in the settings on my phone. But this is the self-tanner I use. And this is a glove that I just got from Walmart that I use. I need to wash this. It's a little dirty. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do our tan. Also, I just did my nails yesterday. I'm coming back today because yesterday ended up being a terrible day. Um, and my nail, like half of it, literally got broke off. Like it yanked off. Um, because my hand got caught in, like, a, one of those, like, air, like, a fan. My hand got caught in a fan. My nail did. <laughs> and it, like, chopped it off. So, that's what happened, but I'm okay. Anyways, let's get on with showing you what I do for tanning. I also plan on doing a better in-depth tutorial on my spray tanning. Um, but I just... Honestly, you guys, I had started my period this day or like the next day. So I was already really low energy anyways, and I was cramping really bad. So it just didn't happen that way. Um, and I was supposed to like show you guys the full in-depth thing in this video. But like I said, things happen and it's okay. I will show you really, really soon. I promise. Also, don't mind my messy room because it gets messy. And we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me on all my social media. Link down in the, the description. Also, don't forget to shop Madam Glam. They are also linked in my description. And check my pinned comment for a surprise. Thank you guys so much. Bye, you guys. Welcome to my life.